pioneers, happy Monday. It's the 25th of March. It's a B. Uh, three. It is a B three day today, and uh, we have something coming up in uh, about two weeks from today. What's coming up, sir? Oh, don't look at that yet. What's coming up in two weeks? The solar eclipse. Yeah, so let's talk safety solar eclipse. I'm going to put you on the spot. So when the solar eclipse comes, I'm going to put these guys on because they're big, right? And look right at the sun and the moon. No? Is that? I need a verbal. No. All right. Would you recommend these? Why? What's the difference? For solar eclipse glasses. Can you see anything really? Yes. Well, not really, but because they have like a protective film on there. True? So it's very important that when you're looking at it, you don't use a pair of sunglasses you might every day, like you're going to the beach. You were the ones, and everyone should have got some sunglasses from their teacher last week. If you have any questions or wonders about those, ask, actually ask your teacher. And what's the time frame? What do we have going on on the 8th of April? You'll need them on Monday, April 8th. The solar eclipse will occur in the afternoon between 2 p.m. and 4.30 p.m. There will be no classes on the 8th so that everyone can experience this once-in-a-lifetime phenomenon. What a bargain. Free glasses and no school. You can't beat it. If you guys can please stop what you're doing and stand, direct your attention towards the flag. And as we kick off our moon day with the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, before we even jump into the birthdays, I have a special guest that's going to be coming out from the corner. Mrs. Rosenberry, come on out and talk to Thank us you. about a lot of basketball happened this week with March Madness. But we're here talking about book madness. March Book Madness. I am so lucky to be able to be here today to announce the finalists in our March Book Madness contest. The two championship books are Stickler Loves the World by Lane Smith, and it's going up against The Red Jacket by Bob Holt. Now, I know that these are some of your favorites, otherwise they wouldn't have made it to the championship round. So, we're going to be reading them again this week in the classroom or in the library. You're going to get to choose your favorite, and maybe it will win the 2024 Plank North Elementary March Book Madness, first place. All righty. Thank you, Mrs. Rosenberry. You, Always Mr. a pleasure Beat. doing business. Birthdays. I think you said we have dose. Happy birthday to Rail, Rail H. And happy birthday to Mrs. DiLorenzo. All right. Thank you so much. And our funny. What is the best way to know that flowers are friendly? Flowers are friendly. How do you know a flower is friendly? Because they are beautiful. Flowers always have a lot of new buds. They have a lot of new buds. Who is that from? Mrs. DuPont's class. Get it, buds? Yeah, I got it. Oh, and on this date, what do we have? Uh, happy birthday, Linda Sue Park. Linda Sue Park is a Korean American author of many books for young readers. All right, thank you, sir. We have three Golden Coin Awards. First up, to Luca T. From Mrs. Peffley, Mrs. Stock, and Mrs. Ammon. In fact, the first two are from those two adults. Luke always puts forth his best effort in all areas. His kind heart is felt by everyone who knows him. Keep up the great Luca. And to Michael W., Michael is deserving of a golden coin because he brings joy to all that drive by our playground at recess. He waves to each driver to bring a smile to the face. Way to think of others, Michael. And to Veronica S. from Mrs. Murky, Veronica created a special family cookbook that was made up of many family favorites. She included a display board showing her making favorite peanut butter pie. It sounds delish. She also shared some photos of family members who helped with the recipes and even included a story about an apple farm that is in her family. Nice work. Way to go, Veronica. All right, the man of the hour is Mr. Declan. How are we doing today? Good. You feeling better? Yeah. All right, let's rock and roll. You've been here many moons. What's a favorite memory? Uh, field day. What part of field day do you like? Um, the whole thing. The whole day. thing. All right, what's a hidden talent you have? Music. Now, when you say music, you're good at an instrument, you're good at singing, or both? Uh, probably instruments. All right, what's, what's your go-to instrument? Uh, guitar, drums. Electric guitar, or? Both. Both, all right, you're rocking and roll, I love it. When you're older, what would you like to be? A firefighter. A fi what a noble cause, love that one right there, helping the community. What is something that makes you laugh? My dog. All right, name a dog. Millie. Millie, what is Millie, what kind of dog is Millie? Chocolate lab. So a pretty big dog. Yeah. And what does Millie do to crack you up? Just like running around and chase tail or anything like that or no? Yeah, yeah all right. It's a typical dog. All right, let's go through your favorites. You go first. Which one do you want to start with? Uh, food. All right, what do you got? Pizza. Homemade or from a certain place? Uh, both. 
Both with toppings, though. Anchovies, pineapple. Um, pepperoni. Pepperoni. Playing it safe. Favorite animal? Uh, monkey. No pet mon monkey with Millie at home, correct? No. All right. Favorite place you want to get away? My room. Your room. Why? To get away from? My sister. Hey, be nice now. All right. And last but not least, favorite movie or TV show? Christmas vacation. All right, that is a classic. All right, thank you for joining us tomorrow. We have Fiona F. from? Mrs. Peckley's class. Enjoy the sunshine. It's going to be beautiful. Second time I said that word today. Please remember to show. Cooperation. Accountability. Respect. Excellence. Thank you.